guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. I've got five mic systems here that we're going to try in the new camera, the X53. We're going to see which one sounds the best. Now, I know a couple of these have some issues, but I'll go through that with you here in a minute. Okay guys, first of all we got this Insignia mic. Now this was a really good mic and it sounded awesome. It's just a lapel mic. It's not wireless. But I noticed today when I was checking it, uh, I had issues with it before. Now I thought the battery was dead. So I bought a new battery and I put a new battery in it because it takes like a little button saw battery. And today when I was checking it, it must have a break in this wire somewhere, which is a damn shame. I gave 30 bucks for that mic. We've got the Boya, Boya, Boya wireless mics. So those are the first set we bought after we got together. And they still work. One of them I have to have tape around the battery compartment. But other than that, they still seem to work pretty good. Um, these things, I bought these, I never really liked them that much because, uh, let me see, it just got, it, it has no nowhere to put onto the camera, like this, you know, you put this onto the camera, this one doesn't. And it seems to be only working on one channel, uh, the left channel. But see, you can't. There's nowhere you'd have to hang. You have to hang it on something. So I never really cared for that. Now I got this Tax Star. It's the SGC 598. This this sounds pretty good. It's a shotgun slash boom mic. Uh, these boom mics, you know, it's it's only going to pick up what's in front of it. Now the thing about these is, if you got it on here, like this, and you're filming, okay, that's that's okay. But if you're filming, you want to use an external mic because this mic does sound pretty good. It's like thirty-five bucks, uh, and you want to pick up your voice, you just have to turn it around like this, so it's pointing back at you. Now the same way with this one. So what this is about is I want to see which mics sound the best in that camera so I'll know which ones to use. Um, like I said, these booyahs don't sound too bad. Now what I used to do was I would put this mic, hook this mic into here, and it made it really sound good. Because uh, the mic has a lot to do with it. i got this mic here. I am missing one mic I'm not sure where it is and that's the mic for that but we will use this mic because I know this mic is good with that with that uh, system there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one set up on the tripod and I'll tell you which mic we're going to start with now I'm going to try to use this one but like I said I got I got a mess with it so I mean if you gotta do that, it's not very dependable, so I probably won't even use that anymore. Which is a shame because, like I said, it did sound good. It was a really good sound of mic. Um, this one never sounded too bad, and this one from yesterday when I was trying out the uh, Axe 53, um, it sounded pretty mellow when I put it on to uh, plus 20 decibel on the gain. This has got a boost on it so we'll try it with and without the boost and it but it only goes up 10 decibel gain okay and it does have a it does have a lamp to tell you uh, the issue I have with this one is I keep forgetting to turn it on which I'll probably do the same with this one but it also has a light to let you know it's on okay these have two little blue lights one there one there when they pair up when they sync up they'll flash but they're really hard to see now these as you can tell when you turn them on uh, let's get this one on 
see it's got the red lights and you can change the channel so you know um, and you've got you can this one's uh, you got your mic your line in and your guitar so but like I said I don't like the fact that they put a belt clip on here I, I mean you know you're supposed to wear this I guess and have the wire running up your camera um, that's for I guess the cameraman but if you're by yourself you gotta hang that off of something because you can't I mean you're tethered so you would just use one of these alright let me get you set up here on the tripod I have this on the charger it is charged and I've got all my other batteries charged up ready to go so I think the first thing the first one we're going to try the insignia and I'll be able to tell on the camera when it when it's making a connection because down right down there see that and we'll also um, yesterday I just had it on two channel today we're going to put it on five channel or 5.1 surround sound and uh, but when you plug a mic in it just goes to two channel you don't have your surround so but I'll be able to tell if a mic is working just through that so let's start with this thing because if it sounds really good maybe I'll get an insignia wireless system but that's later on so let's go ahead and get you set up and we'll check everything out okay guys as you can see if I hold this mic like that this is the insignia it's the lapel mic it's wired it's not wireless if I hold the wire a certain way it works fine like I said I had trouble getting this working one other time I bought a battery and it worked okay for a while so I think it was probably just this wire now if I move the wire the sound will probably cut out so now see how you have to hold the wire so it's got a break in it I don't know if I can fix this or not it's probably not even worth it but it's a shame because if you it, as you can tell it's a pretty good sound of mine okay so now we're going to move on to this system here I think it, all these was about 30 bucks um, this one is let me see here you still working it's called the musist musistic if I get the, get you to focus in on that there it is that's what this one is um, the MU-U99GT okay so we're gonna hook this up next and uh, we'll listen to the sound of it okay so now we've got we've got this one hooked up this is the receiver it's on the camera like I said it's got to hang somewhere because of this and I don't know if you can tell or not but I can tell it just by looking at my thing it's it's only running on the what left side okay check 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 um, this is the transmitter the other one's the receiver so as you can tell I think you should be able to tell but I can tell by looking at the camera there it's only picking up on one side so I, I don't know what that's all about because I've used this mic itself with another with the with the Boya um, and it seemed it seemed to check out okay on here alright so the next wireless setup we are going to use the Boya I just always called it a Boya now it's got these little clips they are removable on that one for your belt for your pants or whatever and this one is for the camera okay so let's check them out okay now we have the Booya Booya 
see the little blue light blinking okay that's on this is on the transmitter and this is the receiver see the blue light blinking and so that that's telling me that they are working and they are paired up or in sync <laughs> no comments on that okay so that's the sound of this one as you can tell it's a but remember your your mic has a lot to do with it too um, you know you can get these lapel mics that just plug in just like this and the more you pay for something the better it's going to sound but um, you know also what you can do if you wanted is you can plug one of these another mic into this as a boom mic so you're going to the sound's going to cut away just for a second check 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 one two see now we're using the the shotgun mic or boom mic it's made to hook onto a boom but it's got the um we'll get to that here in a minute though let's see if i point it away from me it'll still pick it up but not as good as if it's pointing towards me so we're going to go on to this one yes let's go on to this one next okay so now we have it on top of the mic or on top of the camera of course you can't see it but it's up there um it does have the uh the shock absorbers on it and i've heard guys that review these mics and they're really impressed with them except they're like well there's little shock absorbers they're not the greatest but they do work um they're just little pieces of rubber and you know keeps the vibration from the mic so you don't get a lot of vibration noise this one is missing the windsock because i lost it a couple years ago up in ohio because these things just slide right off these and before you know it they're gone and you got to get another one they're like seven bucks you would think they would stick on a lot better and you, know, you can put a little bit of tape like two-sided tape on there and put that on but when you go to take it off it usually rips them so you have to be real careful this is also you can use for a boom mic as well this will be the one we're trying out next um, but this one here like I said it's got okay now let's turn the the boost up on it the it's like a bass thing it's supposed to where it's at now it's off so when I flip it on it's supposed to take away like a lot of the background noise like I don't know if you can hear the air conditioner running in the other room or not but let's flip it up now let's see how that sounds okay so that's what the boost it's like it's like a boost it, it's not really a boost per se but it's like a bass it kind of takes away the background noise and a lot of guys say you should use it with the on uh, usually so okay now let's turn the gain the gain is off right now now the gain is off I don't know if you can tell the difference but usually with the gain off it's kind of louder but it is louder but with the gain on the gain is on there it's kind of more of a smooth mellow um, so there's that mic okay so so far i think the mics i'm definitely going to have to use these for my wireless because like i said the other ones i don't like the way they set up and it's only one channel okay um so as far as the shotgun mics go we'll be using one of these too um now this camera here monkey's camera it doesn't have a spot for an external mic you know now it is in stereo but it doesn't have you know the mics right below there them little holes where it says Sony come on focus right there okay so it is in stereo but and like I said this mic here and this one I have to remember to turn it on as as well with anything but like this mic here 
uh, one thing I don't like about it is the, is the indicator lights on the back. So you kind of got to look around behind the camera. This one's a little better because it is on the side. You know, you can just kind of look over to the side and maybe see it in certain lighting situations. This did come with a battery. It came in this box right here. Um, so it does have some instructions with it. It's the Mic 05. Just a cheap mic. Now these ones, you can buy these anywhere online, anywhere from $15 to $30. I think you can order this one online through Walmart for 15 bucks. And through eBay, they're like 30. So mics, mics are cheap. But if you if you want to get a professional sound, you're gonna to have to get step up on your mic, which I will do at a later date. I'll get me a couple good mics um, that really have, have an awesome sound to it. So that is this mic, this the uh, Tac Star. Okay, so I'm gonna shut you off, and I'm gonna put this mic up on it. Also, if I want, I can use this sock. It doesn't cover it all the way, and it doesn't stay on real good, but it's just a wind sock. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So let's get this one hooked up. Okay, so now we've got the small one, the Mic 05 on there, and it's got the decibels turned off. It's just, it's just running its mic. Now let's turn the decibel up, which is... It's just two settings off, or you can turn it on to plus 20, where this one is a plus 10. Also, both of these mics here, what I don't like is the wire comes out the front. Well, where's your camera lens? Out the front. So you got to make sure you're, you don't have that kind of deal happening there. You know, I mean, this, this one, the one that's on there has a little clip up front. This one has a little clip here to bring it around back. But I hate using them clips because they can break they can break the wire. It also has one on this side here that you can clip through. But I don't like that about them. Like I said, I don't like where the light is on here. I guess it's because usually you're pointing it out and you'll see if it's on here. But, you know, I don't know why they can't run two little LEDs. One up front and one in the back on either one of these lights would be nice. Like I said, this one's on the side. I can just go like this and see it's on. This one, I have no clue. This one, I always forget to turn on. Um, so, there's that. Now, let's see how the 5.1 surround sound, uh, the built-in mic sounds on this camera by itself. Okay, so now, this is just the built-in mic with the 5.1 surround sound, 5.1 channel surround sound. What that is... 5.1 you, you you've got your five speakers you got your front left and right your rear left and right you've got your center speaker and then your point one is is your um, your subwoofer okay same way with 7.1 surround you'll have seven speakers and a subwoofer but this is what the 5.1 surround sound sounds like um, I do have the wind reduction on it. I just leave it on. Um, sometimes I'll flip it on to automatic when I'm outside, but right now it's on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the channel, the uh, the mic. I'm going to turn it on to just stereo where there's only a left and right, the way we had it last night, so you can hear the difference there. Okay, now we just have two channels, just stereo, just left and right. Um, so, what do you guys like best? Leave it in the comments down below. Um, and we'll see which, which mics you think I should use. Because I'm definitely not, I'm not going to use these. Because it's just a, a pain in the ass to have to find a way to hook this on your camera. If you're a cameraman, it's not so bad because you can just hook it on you. Because you're going to be right there at the camera. But if you're filming yourself and you go to walk away, you're still tethered to the damn camera unless you find a way to hang this up here and you don't want to hang it off the cord. Okay, so it'll definitely be these, the booyahs, at least for now, for my wireless system. 
I'm not sure which one I like best yet. This one or this one? You let me know in the comments, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these in. I'm going to take these clips in, put them on the PC, and see which one sounds better. And I'll be right back to let you know which one of these I'll be using in a in a shotgun or slash um, boom mic situation so hang tight and I'll be back with you okay guys I forgot I got this stupid setup uh, I guess it's for I, I don't know I, I don't know I see a lot of gamers using something like this but this this mic actually came with with these ones okay um, I have used it before a couple times not a lot I feel silly wearing it but I think it does have a pretty good sound to it I'm using the Booyah wireless mics now I'm going to take a little walk with this um, I am in the kitchen right now I don't know how well it's picking up I'm over at the back door uh, you're just going to have to trust me now I'm coming in to the because I know a lot of haters will be saying oh he didn't go anywhere so alright um, so I'm gonna walk out here over by the refrigerator and I'm still talking to you and here's the air conditioner here's the refrigerator here's the other wall can you see me I don't know if you can see me or not I'm looking I don't know if I can see myself but anyway yeah I guess I was a little dot but so yeah I forgot about this thing um, so I mean it's kind of I don't know if you can hear it hitting the mic or not but I guess <coughs> I mean I like I said I have used it before I used it one time when I was vlogging on the tractor on the John Deere because I had the camera up front and I did this so so that um, that you guys could hear me better so yeah I mean it's okay so I'll tell you what we'll do let's go ahead I'm gonna move you over here a little bit so maybe you can see out through there that way you'll know I'm over by the refrigerator I mean that's a ways away see um, and I'm gonna try one of the other mics so hang on I'm gonna lose you just for a second check one two alright I'm back now I just got this mic If I remember right, it picked up pretty good. Um, what I'm doing is I'm looking down here at the channel, make sure it's, it's reading all right. So I'm going to go out here onto the other side of the refrigerator, and I'm going to keep talking to you. And I'm just talking in the <coughs> excuse me normal voice I was talking in before when I was out in the garage. I don't know if you guys can see me. Here's the refrigerator. You know, there's some Coke, some ketchup, and stuff like that in here. I'm probably do. Let me see. Probably at least I'm about 20 feet away. So, I mean, you know, it's not often that I'm going to be filming that far, that far away. But what we can do is let's go outside. Because I'm going to check this out. I don't think I ever did check it out. And see how far it does go. But like I said I also got a, a better lapel mic as well. And crap it's raining. Um, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to set you here. And I'm going to walk out to the mailbox. Which is probably roughly 40 feet. So I'm going to keep talking to you guys as I'm going. It's raining. I'm out in the rain. Um, I'll know in editing where it shut off at, but I mean, it's not very often. I'm going to be out here this far away from the camera filming. It just, I'm not going to do that. Might as well check the mail. I'm here. So, I mean, usually when I use a wireless mic, you know, I'm going to be like down here or something, or like I'll turn around and I'll go to get a tool or something that way it's less editing and less cutting out of stuff for you guys um 
That way I can still keep talking to you. If I forgot a wrench, I can just get up, grab my wrench, and still talk to you if I'm explaining something like on a how-to video. There we go. <laughs> like on a how-to video, and I'm in the middle of saying something, then I'll forget. I forget a lot of things. So that way I can just get up and go grab my screwdriver or whatever and still talk to you guys about what I'm doing, and you won't even realize I, I you know, moved 10 feet away. Okay, so now... Uh, I'm not sure how well that picked up. We'll find out through editing. But let's take in here and I'll let you know which one of the shotgun mics I'm going to be using. So hang tight. Okay guys, so I've decided which microphone I'm going to go with of these. Now, like I said, Monkey's camera and the JVC does not have external mic ports. So I'm not gonna need these, um, except for maybe another camera, which I use very rarely. She won't need these because, like I said, no external mic. So, I'm gonna keep them both in the bag that I'm gonna keep the camera in with all the other stuff, with my light and stuff. Um, this is the IR light we were using last night. Um, but, so I figure I can use this one in certain situations where I need maybe a little more room or something. And this one, when I, when I need to be a little farther away, I won't use the shotgun mics that much. Um, I may use it, use them as a boom mic, um, eventually. But, so I'm just going to keep them both. I think they both sound fantastic for cheap mics don't get me wrong don't you know i don't want to hear well you know you can get a road for two three hundred bucks to sound really good well you know if you ask me i think either one of these mics sound just as good as a road i mean that's just that's just my opinion and i think the mic um that i have that i use um the boom mic that i use for uh, my live streams when i'm live streaming in the bedroom at my computer um i think it sounds just as good as a road um and, and i'm not paying that kind of money for it. i just can't see paying two to three hundred dollars for a freaking mic you know there's let's say 15 bucks there's 30 bucks either one of these i think especially for, just for youtubing um maybe some people <coughs> excuse me might be able to tell the difference but you know what I think they sound just fine and I forgot I still got my wireless mic on so anyway so there's our mics now I think what I'm going to do on next video I think we'll we'll try out some uh, some of the different lenses and filters because uh, I got two other lenses and I, I got well I got one filter on now it's just to clear it's just to cover you know to keep the dust and everything out but we'll We'll try one of the filters like it's for fluorescent lighting and stuff and one's like for bright sun and and uh, then we'll try the macro lens and we'll try uh, because this will focus after you know after a minute you can get it to focus just on but we'll try the macro lens and we'll try the um, the telephoto lens on it and kind of see what they what they do and we'll then we'll start messing with some of the um, adjustments on here and see what we can do manually um you know just uh like low lux light and uh also i want to do i want to try out the um uh, slow motion i can record like 15 second clips in slow motion for slow motion so that that should be pretty cool um we'll try it out i did turn it on it it does it, I don't know if it's because I was in the bedroom or what, but it seemed like kind of fuzzy. So I don't know. I'll have to do some experimenting on that because I never used slow motion on. Uh, I had another camera that, that would do that, but I never used it. So I'll have to do some experimenting on that, and um, then we'll we'll go from there. Because um, there's certain like high def, high definition and stuff like that that you can run with it. Um, you got to change some settings and stuff like that. I'll get used to the camera, but we're going to mess around with that. But I think the next one we'll mess around with some of the, um, since we did the mics, we'll do some of the lenses and, and maybe mess around with some of the, um, uh, 
settings and stuff on here and see which lighting's better stuff like that that's what you got to do when you get a camera youtube it a lot of people will youtube things and it's very useful information very helpful so and i watched a lot the past week let me tell you you know so because i do my homework uh especially when i'm spending that kind of money on a camera so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh the monkey's at work it's raining she sent me a picture it was like like real dark and it was just like a straight line and then it was like uh kind of clear but it looked like it had like a hook coming down i was like man you need to be careful because it's nasty it's nasty out here and, and she was sending me some pictures of how bad it was raining and stuff where she was at so um but anyway it's, as you can see it's raining here i mean it'll pour for a few minutes and then kind of clear up for a few minutes but it, it won't it just past couple of days just hasn't dried out so Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Um, so, take care, and bye-bye.